Good day! In this video, we are going to learn how to estimate or approximate the cube root of two digit number. Sorry for the spelling error, and we are going to do two examples, and hopefully by the end of this video, you are able to approximate any cube root of any two digit number. So we have looked at the first example, the cube root of 87. So what we need to do before we start, we need to know the cube of every 1 to 9 before we can start this video, okay? So 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216, 7 cube is 343, 8 cube is 512, and 9 cube is 729. I believe most of them are quite familiar to you, and before we know it, we are able to memorize all of them. So the cube root of 87, the first thing you need to find is the cube so that it doesn't exit 87. So this exit, 1 cube exit, 2 cube is also exit, 3 cube, 27, 87 is bigger than 27, 4 cube is still smaller than 87, 5 cube, 5 cube is larger than 87, so that's where we stop. So we have to look at this number here, 4 cube is 64. So we're going to put cube root of 64 over here, cube root of 64 equals to 4, okay? So now, we cannot, cube root of 87 cannot be more than 4 because if it's 5, it's 125, is less than 125. So the first whole number is going to be 4. Okay. Now the next step we're going to do is that we are going to find the fraction to approximate it. Okay. So to find the fraction is very simple. Okay. You're going to do a numerator and denominator. The numerator you just take 87 minus 64. That will give us 23. Okay. The denominator is slightly different, you need to use this formula. The formula to calculate the denominator is this. x squared times 3. So suppose this is your x, okay? So your 4 is your x. So your denominator is going to be 4 squared, which is going to be 16. 4 times 4 is 16 times 3. And the denominator is going to be 48. So that's what we're going to plug in. 48 at the bottom. And then that's the answer. 4, 23 over 48. Or if you want to put in decimal, 23 over 48 is close to 0 0.5 because 24 over 48 is 0 0.5. So we would say it's going to be 4.5. Okay. Have a check. It's quite close. It's not exactly because it's approximate. And we shall do another example now. Okay. The next example is the cube root of 39. If you want to have a go, just pause the video and try it. If not, let's carry on. 39, you look at where is more than 39, it has 27. So we're going to write cube root of 27, okay? Cube root of 27 equals to 3 because more than, if it's more than 3, if 4 cube is 64, it exits 39. So we are going to stop at 3. So what we're going to do now, we are going to put the answer as 3. And then we're going to put the denominator and numerator. If you remember, the denominator, the numerator is just 39 minus 27 is going to be 12. And the denominator has this formula. Hope you remember them. You're going to, <coughs> excuse me, is x squared times 3. Okay? So your, your <coughs> x is 3. So 3 squared times 3. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is going to be 27. And we are going to put the denominator as 27, okay? So, if you have a 12 over 27, it's not exactly half, it's slightly less than half, I would reckon it's going to be 3.4. And please check the answers, and I believe it is quite close to the answer of 3.4. Have a go at this uh, method of get estimating a cube root if you do not have a calculator. So, have enjoy your... Uh, learning and i'll see you in the next one cheers everyone and have a good day